Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and I have some bad news for Godot developers. Godot 4 has been canceled. Oh, wait, no, I'm reading my notes wrong. Oh, wait, visual scripting in Godot 4 has been canceled. And truth of the matter is, I don't think the majority of you are going to care. I like visual scripting. I'm not against it. I think that Unreal Engine Blueprints did an extremely good job of it. I think Godot did, uh, they did a job of it. Uh, so uh, what are we talking about here today? Well, let me just uh, demonstrate. I'm in the most recent alpha of Godot. I gotta go ahead, we add this guy into the world here, and we're just gonna go ahead and attach a script to it. So go down here, attach script, and you're gonna notice uh, you have the default option of GD script. If this was the, uh, the C sharp build, you would have C sharp as well, but you'll notice you also have visual script. And visual script is kind of a one-to-one -one, uh, recreation of GD script. You've got all kinds of uh, capabilities here. So basically you can uh, right click, add in just about anything you want here. You can start doing uh, visual node graphs. You drag and drop via pins, uh, kind of control things over this way. It, it's a flow graph style way of doing things. Uh, you can add metadata in over here. You can bring in a variety of different functions uh, that can be called over here. So for example, we could call, uh, if we wanted to do this process on uh, key press, we could do on input like so. So when any any kind of input happens at all, then we could have that branch off and go to an if condition. Uh, but instead what we're going to do, we'll wire that into this print event and we'll print the dictionary out. All right, that's it. So basically uh, this is going to call as soon as you initialize and it's going to print out the results. This is how visual scripting works in the Godot game engine, or at least this is how it worked because this functionality is going away and it's going away because basically nobody used it. Now, one of the things I'd like about blueprints is blueprints and Unreal Engine 4 were very much designed together and the experience of working with it is very seamless. Uh, whereas I find... Um, with Godot, it definitely over time uh, it got it, it got more capability for sure, uh, but it was never super intuitive. It was basically a feature added to be a feature, more so than a feature added for people to actually use it. So here we are over on the Godot Engine blog, and they're going to talk about why they are discontinuing it. Uh, so it was introduced in Godot three almost five years ago. Uh, it never gained traction. Uh, it was never clear how to improve it. I don't think you could, to be honest. In some ways, I think you kind of have to build your engine around the idea of visual scripting for it to really take off. Uh, they just simply not the right one decided to remove it. If there is enough interest, oh, so if there is a diehard community of people that are all about this, uh, it may be moved into an extension, which makes sense. Uh, I, I think they should actually remove it into an extension right now anyways. And then just if there's any interest, that extension gets maintained. So people that are kind of invested in it now at least have a, a way forward, even if that way is a dead end. Um, so the visual scripting language and not visual shaders. So visual shaders are still working well. They actually work better than visual script does. Uh, visual shaders are as a way of, well, obviously visually creating shaders. So um, GLSL, HLSL style shaders uh, using a visual programming language. So basically it was requested uh, by a number of people back Godot 2.1. Um, and it, it just kind of seems uh, most features in Godot are requested by users actually using the engine, not by potential users. Nowadays, in fact, uh, Godot proposal system is designed in a way where future uh, feature proposals must meet the requirements of being needed for actual projects. I actually think that this is a bit of a mistake of ways to go uh, because appealing to potential users actually makes sense because if you do not appeal to potential users, they never become actual users. So uh, again, I think this is a bit of a wrong approach. Otherwise, you're just basically catering to your own own audience, which may or may not be a bad thing. But if you want to grow, you do have to keep potential users in mind. The thing is, this was basically mentioned to me, they wanted a blueprint style system. The thing is, again, Unreal Engine was built around blueprints, whereas um, this was basically a graphical version of GD script, but you could type it in GD script 10 times faster than you could do it in visual script. And it was more intuitive. So uh, why did it not work? There's two main answers for a lot of potential users that wanted to use this feature, they found out GD script was a great fit, and they pretty much ended preferring it to visual script. Uh, that's a way of, that's kind of a, a biased take one way. Uh, so GD script is solid. It is, it is easy to work with. And I agree with that. It, it's a, it's an easy enough scripting language to learn. And then even though visual scripting based functionality was there, Godot lacked high level components to make use of it. Engines like Unreal Game Maker Construct offer high level game features packaged together with the visual scripting solution. And bang, this is the biggest one. Those engines are built around the idea of visual scripting. It is integrated across the entire engine. Uh, the tooling was more mature. It wasn't just basically a recreation of the traditional scripting language 
it's just using building blocks instead. And I think this is number one, the biggest reason. I actually don't like, I, I like you working with blueprints. I'm not against the idea of, I do find generally a scripting language is more, um, it's, it's generally faster uh, for a experienced developer to work with, uh, but it's less, uh, it, you know, when you're just starting out, these visual scripting languages, the, the fact that you can kind of visually explore and if the tools are good for like, telling you what you can and can't do, they're a great way to learn and discover language. So another reason for the low popularity is we failed to provide good documentation for using it. Official documentation examples were in GDScript and C Sharp, never exceeded in uh, visual script examples due to technical reasons. And I got to agree with this one too. This is a problem when it comes to blueprints as well. Well, for visual scripting languages, documenting them except in video format is a nightmare because obviously they take up their images as opposed to just simple text, uh, hard to search, uh, hard to be concise. So I agree, documentation is definitely one of the challenge with all visual scripting systems, not just visual script in the Godot engine. And according to the most recent poll with 5,000 respondents, only 0.5% of the user base has used visual script as their main engine language. Uh, again, it wasn't that great. Uh, now, it's interesting to see some of these other like alternative languages, VDAG extension, are actually beating it. So right here, Rust, for example, uh, I, I can't really tell, but there is 0 0.5, and there is Rust, which looks like 3 or 4%, which is actually uh, shocking to me. Uh, even Nim uh, is actually, actually, where is Nim? I don't see Nim. Do you see Nim? <laughs> okay, I mean, maybe Nim is really small and thus it didn't actually show up, or maybe I'm just colorblind and don't see it. But um, yeah, so that is the thing. I do think, again, just move it into an extension, best of both worlds. Uh, so unless a contributor comes forward to do something, it's going to be going away. Unless, of course, uh, moving it into an extension. So it's going to be removed from the code base in Godot 4. It's going to stay in the 3.x branch. Uh, for perpetuity. Uh, it was implemented as an optional mod module, so taking the code out should be super simple. Uh, hopefully, it does get moved into a GD script extension, which is very mature now and should support everything required to do this. As an extension, it may work better as a ground for experimentation and improvement. For this to happen, however, there has to be volunteers willing to make it happen. So again, if it's a feature that 0.5% uh, of your community is using, uh, yeah, you, you're, you're going to have to have someone step up to make it work. Although, again, this you're polling your own community, and I do think that they're making a mistake not also looking at, you know, a uh, potential community because, uh, uh, you know, 100% of people that are already doing something are probably okay with doing it. Whereas, you know, if you have new people coming in and they have an option and a viable option, they're more likely to pick that other option. So these kind of polls are, are going to skew the results, certainly. Um, so, yeah, that, that was that. Um, so more details. So about the future, there are some ideas floating around by contributors of implementing alternatives to the visual scripting. It's more similar to um, Game Maker or GDevelop. GDevelop is more like a spreadsheet type approach. Uh, Game Maker is kind of a hybrid between blueprints and the spreadsheet, I would say. Uh, anything that is done most likely will still be an extension, provides more flexibility to experiment, quick feedback, and also to be honest, it, it just makes sense at this point anyways. And, and you know, going back in time, GDScript was actually implemented as a module and could probably be turned into an extension these days as well. So uh, the being extension is not a big deal. It's the being uh, supported going forward is important. Uh, so removal of the core of the engine will happen before the beta, uh, which is now very close, by the way. Even though it's gone, we are thankful for blah, 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 blah. All good. People that contributed to it, you did great jobs, all that stuff. Uh, but it is gone. And I, I, you know what? I don't disagree with this. I don't think it was a very, um, it wasn't a nice way to work with Godot. I, even, um, even if you were afraid of text-based scripting language, you were going to find things easier to learn GD script than you would find it to learn visual script, which is kind of not the same thing. If you go over to Unreal Engine, uh, you'll find blueprints a heck of a lot easier to learn than C++, especially as a new developer. So uh, I get why they're doing this. Uh, I'm not really particularly sad. I do hope to see it does get implemented as an extension because I don't think that would actually be a gigantic amount of work. But it'll be interesting to see if the community is interested. But again, I would also wouldn't mind seeing it just being uh, a new solution because, uh, you know, just call it a learning experience and move on from there. But I'm curious, what is your opinion? Are you going to miss visual scripting in Godot or do you not care? Let me know. Comments down below. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.